um, I'm Chantal Irtelli. I am the head of sixth form. Um, that's mostly A levels. So welcome to my department. Um, I thought I would talk to you today about A levels um, and give you a little introduction because. I always find that there's lots of people who don't know all the ins and outs of um, what A-levels are, um, how they're put together, what they lead to, etc. So I thought I'd give you a little um, working introduction into that world. So I'm going to start off by talking about our specific department and what our ethos is. Um, so we're a small department in a big college. So lots of students kind of look at this, this beautiful building and think it looks great, but it's a bit too big for me. I want to be in a small college. Well, we've got the best of both worlds here because uh, we're a relatively small A-level department, which means that I pretty much know all of my students. I don't know all of my first years yet because it's only September the 23rd. However, I will know them uh, by sort of, you know, May time. And it means that you get that more sort of personal experience. Um, we do have really high expectations of our students here um, and because we're smaller it means that students get a little bit more attention both from their subject teachers and also from um, the sort of management levels i.e. me and my CQLs who are Thriffer and Colum. Um, so you know if you've got problems you're not in a big sea of students um, unable to actually speak to, to anyone. You can knock on the door and you can speak to, to me or somebody else if you've got any issues. Um, we do have a real focus here on high quality teaching. Um, we've got a really, really talented group of um, A-level teachers here uh, and unlike uh, six forms in schools, they will only be teaching A-levels, which means that they're A-level specialists, so they won't be teaching across from year 7 to year 13. Um, it is A-levels that they are expert in and A-levels that they can focus all of their attention on. So one of the things that uh, is really important to know is that yes, you would be coming here to do three or possibly four A-levels, but that's quite rare. But overall, you'll be part of what's known as a study programme. So it's not just about doing your three uh, separate subjects, um, it's about the whole package. Um, and as a student here, you will be doing your three, or perhaps if you're super, super brainy, four A-levels. Um, but you'll also have a tutorial um, session that goes alongside that. So you'll have an hour a week um, with your tutor, who will probably be one of your subject teachers. Um, and that hour you will have every week in both your first and your second year. Um, and your first year will be focusing on things like study skills and group projects. And when you get into this, your second year, it's all about progression on to the next stage, whether that's a university or an apprenticeship, or maybe you just want to get a job, um, or maybe you want a year out, you know, we can help you with all of those things. Um, you'll be doing work experience um, in these COVID times, we're not quite sure what that's going to look like, but that's a really important part of being an A-level student or any level three student that you get out there into the world of work. Um, there are enrichment um, opportunities here. You can do sports things, you can go to film club. Um, I'm sure that the enrichment department can enlighten you further on those opportunities. Um, and if you don't get your fours in English and or maths, um, you will be doing English and or maths GCC. We don't have many students who don't have English GCC here, but we do have a handful who don't have their maths, so that will be part of your study programme. So, what we can offer is, as I said before, we're a small department in a big college, best of both worlds, you get all of those lovely facilities, but you get the small kind of cosy feeling and you're all on one floor, you're all on the third floor here, so no danger of getting lost. Um, we only have the capacity for 200 students per year. We are growing year on year. Um, every year we get more students wanting to come here. Um, so we do advise you to um, apply early uh, because what's happening at the moment is that sometimes students are kind of not getting onto the subjects they necessarily want because they haven't um, applied early enough, so get in there quick. Um, we've got relatively small class sizes in most of our subjects. Uh, we've got excellent pastoral support. We do have um, learning mentors here who can help you from anything ranging from sort of existing mental health issues, which you might be getting outside support with. Um, and, you know, we've got people who can kind of support you in an academic sense alongside that to kind of off 
you know, um, sort of now and then issues that you might have with study. You know, you might be feeling a bit anxious about getting yourself organised. So it's a whole spectrum of support that we can offer. Um, we have great transport links here. We're right next to the train station. Um, you know, right in the middle of town. So that's that's you know that's a real sort of uh, boon to coming here. Uh, Brilliant facilities, well-stocked library, all sorts of great things. Uh, we're clean, modern and bright, you know, if, if you come onto the grounds um, and, and to the facilities here, you'll see that it strikes you straight away. And we've got special six-form study spaces for students. You can do four A-levels uh, if you've got eights and nines across the board. What we find with most students, so they kind of say, yes, I want to do four because they want the variety, and then they find it really hard to keep up with the work. No university demands four A-levels, you will have no advantage of doing four A-levels over um, students who do three A-levels. You may well be disadvantaged because you're probably going to get lower grades in all four than you would in three, so we generally advise that students stick to three because if you're applying to Oxbridge, that's Oxford or Cambridge, um, and they want three A's or two A's and one A star, and that's what they ask for, they don't ask for a fourth, you're more likely to get those grades if you stick to the three subjects. Thank you so much for watching uh, and giving me your time um, and I hope to welcome all of you to the college next year.